Do we have free will or not? are going to disagree with what I'm going to say, at least for the moment. But in about a minute or two, I'm going to ask you a question, a challenge, if you will, and then we'll see if maybe you begin to change your thinking on what I'm saying. Biblically speaking, the Bible never says we have free will. The term free will is never found in the Bible. But does that mean that the notion or the concept of free will is not in there also, or is it? When we say free will, we mean volition or that man has the ability to choose what he wants to do. So yes, man does have volition, man does have will, but is it free? We are in one of two categories. We are either of our father, the devil, or we are sons of God, of the Holy Spirit, and therefore slaves to God. There is no in between, no third category. We are either one of the two. We are either influenced, controlled, or motivated by sin and Satan, or we are controlled and motivated or influenced by the Holy Spirit, one or the other. So really a better term would be controlled, constrained, restrained, limited, or influenced will, but not free will. Consider this, when God says something is going to happen, it's because he decrees it to happen, not because he predicts it's gonna happen. And if he decrees something to happen, how then is God confident that it's going to come about? God is assured that what he decrees is going to come about because of his will. Ah, there it is. God is the one who has free will. God is the one who has a will that is not influenced or controlled by anything other than himself. We can't say the same thing, can we? So think of it like this. In this corner, you have man, five foot, six foot, whatever, weighing 100, 200 pounds with his will. And in this corner, we have God and his will. Now you tell me in this ring, who is going to impose his will on the other? Okay, I hear what you're saying, Corey, but doesn't the Bible say that God is not willing that any man should perish? But we know that some do. And isn't that because of their own free will to leave, to not choose God? Well, that would make sense. However, if we read carefully, we discover that the word for will is not the word, the Greek word phalo, which means his own volition or his choosing. It is the word bulamai, which is that he has not determined or planned for anyone to perish. So that makes a difference. And so God, though he hasn't planned for anyone to perish, those that come to him will do so as a result of his will. But the next question is going to be, does that mean that we are robots? Of course not. God does give us the ability to make choices and decisions. However, he does so in a constrained, confined area, according to his will. And if we don't make the right decisions and choices within this confine, well, then he holds us accountable for those decisions that we make. But if God has narrowly willed in some cases that this or that would happen, and we decide that, no, I'm not gonna do that, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. His will is going to be done. Don't believe me? Ask Jonah. The Bible is crystal clear on God causing all these things to work for his good, for his glory. And so that's why it's important that we also know that he is the one whose will is in control. He is the one that has free will and ours are control. Why is that important? Because then we can begin to give him glory for what he's done in our lives. Our salvation is not so much a work of what we've done by our own hands, but because of what he's done. So you still don't believe? Well, in the future, we're going to have some more in-depth studies on this particular topic, touching on God's sovereignty and his providence as, a, as it relates to our salvation. But I said earlier that I'm gonna give you a question, a challenge uh, to see if maybe it might cause you to either change your thinking or at least cause you to think a little bit more about this. And so here's the question. If you have free will, meaning you can choose to do what you want to do, and your will is to not sin, you choose not to sin, then here's the question, why do you?